Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Um, today I will show you something that I was uh, reading and uh, researching some, from some time ago. And it's related to uh, how GTK uh, reproducer model amplifiers and the way they are connected to uh, real amplifiers. I mean the real model, brand models that uh, they're supposed to be in some way. Um, for that I will uh, first uh, show you something that uh, will uh, state two different um, groups of amplifiers. I will separate them uh, in case one and case two, and you will know why. Um, I will give you some brief explanation, but uh, back when amplifiers were designed uh, and distortion was produced on the power section, on the last section of the amplifier, uh, some amplifiers were designed with the equalization base middle and treble before the, the, the area where distortion was produced and some others were created with base middle and treble after the area where distortion was produced. So this uh, creates two radical different things when um, or different um, approach when uh, talking about distortion and how you get the best distortion you want from, from the amplifier. Okay, so let's uh, start dealing with the Mesa Boogie Combo. Mesa Boogie Combo is a special amplifier and you will see easily that in real life this applies because this amplifier has treble, middle and bass for each channel but also it has a graphic equalization, a graphic equalizer, a graphic equalizer, sorry. So why? I mean Mesa Boogie's case one, it's it's an amplifier where bass, middle and treble are before this, the, the area where distortion is produced. So they added this graphic uh, equalizer in order to be able to also shape the sound after distortion. So you have before and after distortion equalizers so you can control them so let's do an exercise first we will do the exercise with boogie combo which is mesa boogie and uh, i have a loop here so i will start uh, playing the loop and we will see you see it sounds but take a look what happens when I set bass, middle and treble to zero. No zone at all. You see? That's, I mean, a different approach. Some of them produce this, uh, this cut, this complete uh, uh, off in terms of signal. Uh, some of them don't. But this is not that important, okay? But let's check, check what happens if I increase the middle in the small terms. The middle frequency in small term, in small steps. You see, not that much distortion. Let's see what happens if I increase distortion uh, middle to 50. More distortion. You see, you are controlling distortion basically with, with graphic equalization. Of course, gain must be also said, but Distortion is affected by this. So with this three, you will shape distortion. Let's see in order uh, what happens if I increase treble. Let's see what happens if I increase bass. You see, bass is not that usable, it may be, but it produces a lot of bass and distortion is uh, muted. But reading and doing some research, I checked that most metal uh, or heavy rock uh, bands that use Mesa Boogie Combo, 
do something like this. They only use travel and with the graphic equalization they shape a lot the area of 750 hertz. Well, we don't have 750 basically, but we have 501 kilohertz. So I will uh, decrease both. I think it's uh, no, it's not shown here, but you can check uh, some pictures or some videos from where people put this uh, 750 knob uh, down almost to zero. Okay, let's see what happens. Ah, and the distortion is created by increasing all the treble, letting bass a middle to zero. So let's see what happens if I do that. You see? A lot of distortion, a lot of sound, and basically it's it's a good one. Let's move to the twin, the Fender twin. You say that you cannot get a good distortion from Fender twin? Let's test, test first which kind of amplifier is this. Okay, bass middle and tuning zero. No sound. Let's go and push a little of middle. from the twin rubber up. Maybe this this is not reality because we are pushing gain switch too high and maybe the real amplifier doesn't distort like that. Maybe if we push distortion with a, a, a booster or something we can get that in reality but in here in GDK you have more flexibility to do that. Let's try travel. <laughs> Let's try bass. Of course you can try some mix, okay, but I mean you can experiment of course, but you're shaping um, distortion with this. If you want, of course, you can add an, uh, an equalizer. Let's see. So you're getting good distortion from the twin uh, rubber ramp. Okay, let's go for the diamond which is box IC30, basically. Okay, this one doesn't go to zero when bass, middle and treble are in zero, but let's try bass, middle and treble for distortion shaping. you can see basically it's the same kind of am amplifier uh, it's modeled in the same way I mean bass middle and treble are before distortion so you change distortion with that anyway let's move to the different animals British stack is different Marshall applied bass middle and treble after the power section so it's uh, where the distortion was created
So you can see that you're not shaping distortion, you're shaping the, 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 the final sound, the, the sound after distortion. So basically, with this kind of amps, um, sometimes you, with modern amps, you start on 50 with uh, these old amps that has bass medium treble on, on the end. Uh, it's um, um, it's uh, better to uh, start on 100. Okay, let's go. You start on 100 and then you are going back on bass, middle and or treble and you uh, get the sound you basically want but distortion, you don't modify distortion here if you want to modify distortion here you put something before the amp a an equalizer or maybe a booster or a distortion or something like that another amplifier that has the same uh, uh, behave is red tie um, Red tie stack is also uh, an amplifier that has bass, middle, and treble after distortion area. But in this amplifier, I recommend to start on 50. And you can see you're not shaping distortion with bass, middle, and treble. Basically, you are shaping the, the final sound, the output sound. Okay. And the last one I'm going to show is X high modded, which is basically more or less the same. Sorry, X modded. Fifty, fifty, and fifty. You see, it proves that bass middle and treble are after distortion. Okay, so hope I hope this tip led you for for you guys that don't uh, don't know this kind of uh, this kind of uh, technical uh, stuff. I mean, I know that some other people in this group has a lot of experience, have a lot of experience with the real amps and this kind of technical stuff, but for you that uh, didn't realize this before, or didn't read about this before, or didn't know this before, I hope to help you to get the sound you want. I mean, basically GTK can give you a lot of sound, but uh, you need to start from a good sound, and this is the heart of the sound, <laughs> the amplifier is basically the heart of the sound, so you must um, know how to control this sound and doing this separation between amplifiers that are uh, constructed or built uh, with bass middle treble before distortion or after distortion you can know what you're doing with the knobs okay so that's for today hope you have fun with this thank you bye